What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 8 of our Duke Return of Primetime Dynasty. We are in our week, week 6 recruiting. Sorry, not week 6. Uh, so we are working on uh, our free safety uh, that we still need to get. So as that plays in the background, of course, I shall talk over it. Um, today, I went for an interview at Home Depot. and went really, really well. About an 8-minute interview. Um, and then... Uh, I think in my, uh, sorry, how about the sneeze? Oh, God, it's going to be really bad. Uh, but, yeah, here it comes. Hold on. I'll be back. Uh, so, um, I went for the interview. It went really, really good. But I think in my uh, episode 27 of the NC State, I said that uh, that video was going to go up today, which today is the first. It is not going to. Um, it will probably go up tomorrow because uh, I got home late and I'm kind of lazy right now. And so uh, my internet's kind of crappy right now, too. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, so that should go out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Monday, of course. Uh, but then this video should go out Tuesday or Wednesday. And then. Uh, Probably the Tennessee video uh, where we play Tennessee will go out uh, Friday. I don't, I'm not sure. I'll see how it happens. Plus, it just really depends on uh, what uh, Home Depot does if I get a call back. Which I hope I do. Uh, oh, sorry. Which I hope I do because uh, really, really cool. Uh, felt kind of homey there. So, uh, really nice. Uh, so, uh, But the Tennessee game was good. Um, I know Georgia and Alabama are actually playing in real life right now. I'm going to check the score. It is 6.11 p.m., so let's see. Uh, still halftime, but Boise State is beating Nevada, so that's nice. Um, good God, Oregon State played. Who did they play? Niche? Nickel State? Wow, that's a kind of crappy last game of the season for that team. They're 1-10, but uh, Oregon State beat them 77-3. But uh, I cannot believe that Georgia Tech, I'm from Georgia, but I cannot believe that Georgia Tech uh, got in. I'm not a Georgia fan, by the way. Uh, I cannot believe that Georgia Tech got into the ACC championship game. I was like, what? Because uh, it just, there's like no way, just by watching it, I was just thinking to myself, there's no way these guys can get in. Um, I thought Virginia Tech would be a pretty big stretch if they got in. I was really hoping that Duke would, um, just because... This is really cool to see Duke doing so well this year. And plus, they're bowl eligible for the first time in, like, I think, I don't really know how long it's been. Maybe ever. Um, uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Uh, but uh, it's been a real, uh, pretty, pretty interesting football season uh, on both sides, you know, pro and college. Uh, you just, there's not a lot of people that are breaking out, you know, and there's not a lot of people that are just really just, like, uh, really taking control um, I think probably the best two teams in the NFL right now. Um, it pains me to say this because I'm a Packers fan. But the, uh, ugh, that's nasty. The Bears, ugh, that's bad. Ugh, I can't even say it. It just makes me want to puke. The Bears and the Falcons are probably the two best teams. Um, definitely the NFC. Um, I, of course, I, being a Packers fan, I put Packers up there, but they're struggling pretty bad right now, um, which is okay. You know, they they've been kind of due for a down year. Um, it's not really a down year, but it's, everybody's freaking hurt. It's ridiculous. But uh, I think AFC, the um, strongest teams. Uh, I don't know. You know, like AFC. Dang. I'd probably say the Patriots, of course. Patriots are going to be up there. I think the Colts are good this year. I don't know if they'll make it to Super Bowl. I think they'll probably win a game in the playoffs. Um, I think that the... Uh, I could see the Ravens and the Steelers. If Ben Roethlisberger gets back, the Steelers will, will go pretty far. But uh, they can't keep surviving with Leftwich and Batch. And Charlie Batch, I'm surprised he even knows how to walk out on the field without like a stretcher being present. From him passing out because how old he is, um, and then the kicker for Detroit, oh my goodness, he's like, this like, oh my, I think that the game, uh, like Thanksgiving game that Detroit played against uh, Houston, that was his 
20th Thanksgiving game. So, I mean, this guy's like freaking old. He's basically a, the Brett Favre of kickers. Um, and he's like the third all-time scoring leader in NFL history. So, you know, that's pretty insane. Uh, but, you know, I really can't say. I think Patriots are probably the best team in the AFC. But right now, football is just like, it's so competitive. First time it's been like that for a long time. Um, and, of course, um, there was some pretty bad stuff that happened at the Chiefs um, the Chiefs facility today. Um, so it's kind of sad. Sad day in football today. Um, and uh, how about David Stern finding the Spurs for not having his star players, uh, having, not Pop not having his star players with them, you know? That's so stupid. Um, that's just really, really, really ridiculous because – um, I understand from a fan's sake, I'd be like, oh, hey, look, you know, I'm going to go see Tim Duncan play, and he's not playing. Um, but I think any fan would know that they are on the end of, like, a six-game road trip through, like, two countries and everything like that, and they know those guys probably won't be playing that much anyway, so why would you even buy a ticket to go see, like, a specific player play if they were like that right there on the Xbox Live connection? Um, you know, but the final $250,000... Uh, to find the organization that much money is just ridiculous, you know, and it, it really does prove how good their bench is because they basically, they only lost basically by one point in the end, but they, you know, it's, the scoreboard says five, but the, those four other points were from free throws, so really, you know, um, nothing, it's pretty awesome to see that happen, but uh, sorry for my rambling, uh, next time guys, we'll take on the Miami Hurricanes, thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time, bye.